Hi viewer, and welcome to Dream TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form 3, lesson number 12. The topic it is mass wasting. Welcome. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mudan. Let us look at the lesson goes today. We are going to look at the processes of rapid mass wasting. Now, first of all, we are going to look at what is rapid mass wasting. Rapid mass wasting, it is that sudden and fast movement of materials down slope. It should be sudden and fast movement. So the two characteristics must occur. They are at times dangerous and destructive. So rapid mass wasting they are dangerous and they are destructive. There are a number of them. We have the earth frost. We also have the mud frost. We also have the avalanches. And we have the land slides. We are going to look at each at a time. We start by the first one. There is the earth frost. The earth frost takes place in humid regions. It takes place in humid regions. The materials on the earth surface get saturated with water, causing them to flow down in under the influence of the gravity. So we have the earth flow taking place in the humid areas. Look at this. In the humid areas, these are the areas that will experience high amount of rainfall. So when the water gets saturated, now it is caused or it is influenced to move by the gravity. This leaves behind a shallow scar at the original position of the materials while forming a bench like terraces at their destination that are the text box. and that is the reason as to why we can refer to it as the other form. that how it looks like you can see where it has moved from that is the source area and then the track that it has taken and where it has been deposited the terraces that it is making that one gives us the other floor, and that's how it takes place. There is a scar, and there are the mark where it has been deposited. A scar where it has moved from, and then a point where it has been deposited. You can be able to see. Then we go to the next one. Um, that is the mud frost. The mud frost occurs on moderate to steep Slopes, those areas that are moderate, not too steep, but they are moderate, especially where the soil is bare. So there should be no cover of vegetation. And if a tree is there, it should be scattered. Every rainstorms produce more rain water than the soil can absorb. So that every rainfall, remember, much of it, it is not dissolved. It goes to the surface runoff. As the water flows down here, so that surface runoff will cut the soil with it in form of mud, which then flows in large quantities. It may occur, also occur when every rain accompanies a volcanic eruption, in which water turns volcanic ash and dust into mud, which then froze down it. So it can also be occurring those areas. Let us see how it looks like. You can be able to see. Uh, it has been mixed up, or the soil has been mixed up with us water, surface runoff, and then it has been swept away. You can be able to see the way it is moving. Then we also have the next one, 
Uh, before we go to the next one, we can look at the factors that influence the money flow to occur. One, there must be the presence of those materials at the surface, which becomes slippery when wet. Number two, it is the scarcity or the absence of vegetation. Number three, there must be abundant and intermittent water supply. And number four, there must be the steep slopes. So those are the four factors that can facilitate the mud flow. We look at the third one, which is the average. It is the sudden sliding and falling of a large mass of snow, hides, and loose rock down uh, a mountainside. So you can see that is falling of the snow, ice, loose rocks, down snow. This is the reason as to why you should say the averages takes place in glaciated areas. It accumulated quantities of snow usually break away and slide over older ones, more ardent surface rocks, snow surfaces. Snow may fall as a result of dawing or from the margins of snow in the early world. So we can have dawing when it dawes or even the fall of the snow when it cut off in the early world. Let us see how they are formed. You can be able to see there is a vortex place on top of the mountains which are covered by the snow. Melting. It can also be cutting off a point where we have the annual world. It can cut off. It hangs until it, it, it falls down. So those are the ways in which the averages can take place. Um, we can have it also in another way. This is the point where now we are getting it now for you. Melting. That marks the end of our lesson. Uh, the question is state for processes of mass waste. Uh, for more information, you can visit the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book 3. That edition. For more information, you can contact us through the SMS. Uh, you can also get us through the YouTube. You can also get us through the Facebook. You can also get Twitter. Otherwise, stay tuned to the YouTube. Thank you.